<laughs> uh, good evening, my name is Ian Coppinger. I'm five foot two, which is a fucking ridiculous height for any adult to be. Um, anyone in the back of the room thinks I'm in the distance, I'm fucking not, I'm right beside you. Now, not only that, I'm bald. Five foot two and bald, I'm like a bonsai tree in winter. To those mirrors, they have in shoe shops so you can see your shoes. I can see my entire fucking body in those things. I'm, I've never actually cast a shadow. I, that's a shot glass. I'm fucking tiny. So, some of you... Some of you may recognize me from my previous job. I used to stand on the top of wedding cakes. Yeah. <laughs> Till that bitch left me. Yeah, she got a job in a music box. She was all about the money. Still, it's better to give than it is to receive, as I found out in prison. <laughs> Thanks for not clapping. The noise is way too familiar. No. <laughs> Every year in prison, we do a little pantomime. He's behind you. It's a whole different fucking meaning. I'll tell you that much. Good to see you again, Lee. Uh... <laughs> Engineering, you've, you've, you've moved on. Uh... My knees used to be sore in prison, didn't they? <laughs> oh, we played the soap game every day. <laughs> so it's very nice to be here. I travelled here. That's how I tend to get places. And uh, sometimes I don't travel and I end up in a different place. And that's called a blackout. So uh, I do travel a lot. It's great when you're five foot two because economy is like first class. Hey, it's... <laughs> It's like having your own bed. Sometimes, on a long-distance flight, I will climb into the front seat pocket. And... To pretend to be a kangaroo, it's a bit of fucking crack passes the time. Do you have any Australians in? Good, let's crack on. Uh, I've been to Australia. It's a lot easier to get to Australia now that Ryanair have started doing flights. They don't go all the way as far as Australia. They go as far as France and there's a connecting bus, but fuck it. Uh, you may not know this, the guy who owns Ryanair recently moved into a new house in Dublin. Don't have been that removal company, charge him for every fucking bag. Uh, obviously not every bag, some would go to the wrong address, but you didn't click yes on the insurance, so fuck you. Um, as I say, I've been to Australia, lovely people, they're a bit strange, they do strange things, I've seen this, you won't believe this, it's genuinely true. Australian people eat fruit. I know, fucking raw, not deep fried or anything, ah, just take it out of the tray, it's fucking delicious. They eat raw fruit. That's not what you're meant to do with fruit. That's not what we do with fruit. What you're meant to do with fruit is you buy it, you stick it into a bowl, you wait for it to go off, you fuck it in the bin. <laughs> That's what you're meant to do with fruit. <laughs> Fucking lunatics are eating it over there. Oh, hey, lovely bit of fruit in the morning. Yee. I'm Irish. I get my five portions of fruit every day from Magners. <laughs> Sometimes I feel a bit healthy and have a six-pack. But, uh... I am quite Irish in that respect. I'll have an Actabel and go, well, that's that done. I don't need to go to the gym today. That's good. Two Actimels, stay in bed. Three Actimels, have a wank. Uh, that's usually when I'm asked to leave Tesco. But... <laughs> I just walk out going, mm, clean up an aisle three. Uh, I know, they don't know if it's me or the Yakult. So... 